Beretta is one of the world's oldest firearm manufacturers and they continue to put out really incredible, reliable, and very stylish designs. Beretta is the oldest firearms manufacturer that's privately owned. In fact, it was founded in 1526. And Beretta really makes some really cool designs. And in the land of Ferraris and Lamborghinis, Berettas have proven that they can really design great products. And I own a number of Berettas and I love them. And this little Tomcat, it's in 32 ACP and it's the model 3032. Based on the original Bobcat, which is in 22 and they also have one in 25. The Bobcat's been around for a long time and they wanted to kind of up the ante a little bit from 22 and 25 to go with the 32. Now the 32 ACP is not known for its exceptional uh, self-defense capability but with modern firearm ammunition the 32 ACP is an effective round if used properly now being a blowback design there's no extractor and because of that they can apply this tip-up barrel which really makes it nice to be able to load and unload the round goes directly into the chamber and then you can close it and then it's ready to fire no need to rack the slide but one thing about the Tomcat is that you can rack the slide if you just choose to do so. But there's not really any need to rack the slide because with this barrel tip-up feature you can load very safely and then you can unload very safely. And this keeps you from having to hold the hammer when you pull the trigger if you want to render this gun safe. Now this is the black model and they do make this also in a stainless which is the Inox and they did make 1500 titanium models of course, that was discontinued, so if you find a titanium a Tomcat, it should be pretty collectible. There's also the Alley Cat, which features night sights. Now, the magazine holds seven, and then one in the chamber. It only comes with one magazine, which to me is a downer, but these are only about $25 a piece when you find these on the market. They recommend not using plus P ammunition, but good solid 32 self-defense rounds will function nice in this pistol. It is a snag-proof design. Everything is very rounded off and great, again, for concealed carry. Now, the early model Tomcats had some issues with the frame cracking. I know when they first came out, there was a lot of talk about that problem. Uh, one of the things that Beretta did to correct that, first off, was to make their stainless steel model. And that seemed to help. But on the blued models, they thicken the slide to be able to handle the pressures a little better. And because the slide is beefed up, it makes it a little thick. But the ergonomics on this pistol are excellent. It really fills your hand. And 32 ACP is not quite as snappy as 380. Even though the Tomcat is a very compact pistol, the recoil is very low. It is really a pleasure to shoot at the range. The Tomcat is a pretty compact pistol, but it does have some width, and because of that, it gives you a really good grip when holding the pistol. It does have a nice little beaver tail here to keep that slide from really giving you slide bite, but if you have really meaty hands, you want to take care. Now, the barrel is fully exposed, so you have a very open design, very similar to the Beretta 92, uh, which has a shroud that covers this area here. But on the Tomcat, you can see the barrel is completely open. Now, one of the things this really helps with is from stovepipes and jams because this clears. Now, because it's a blowback design, there's no extractor. And the force of the cartridge and the gases expend the, the empty shell directly out of the pistol. Now, it has a forged barrel that's high-strength steel. The slide itself is a high-strength carbon steel, and it's heat-treated. It'll be just stainless on the Inox model. It has a nice positive safety very easy once you have it in your hand in the firing position but because it's double action it's similar to a revolver you don't really need to worry about a safety with the round in the chamber but having a safety on the frame is nice and also with the safety engaged you can't rack the slide so it is also a slide lock but there's no slide lock when you fire the last round it's a steel magazine very easy to insert and then you have your magazine release right here at the bottom of the grip and then you can just pull it out. The magazine also has a nice polymer base plate. It does feature the glossy Beretta plastic grips. Now you can order wood grips through Beretta and you can also order extra magazines. The length of the pistol is just under 5 inches at 4.9 inches. It weighs 14 and a half ounces. It does have a little bit of heft but it's still lightweight to be able to carry and to be comfortable uh, if you carry daily. This is a double action single action pistol 
and I really like the safety features of double action because you can keep one round in the chamber and still it be in safe condition. Now the trigger pull is smooth and it's all the way back to a consistent flow. It is a pretty stiff trigger pull on double action. Subsequent shots, after you fire the first round, the hammer will be back in single action mode. The single action trigger pull has a little bit of take up and then you have a nice crisp break at about six pounds. Now a lot of the design features are very similar to this little uh, Jetfire 25 ACP Beretta. And this is one of my favorite little pistols. In fact, I just did a review on this uh, just last week. And I really enjoy shooting the little 25. Compared to the 25, the 32 is a lot better ballistically for self-defense. But with either of these pistols, they are considered a mouse gun caliber. So you need to really have your shots well placed. But the Jetfire is single action only where the Beretta kind of steps it up more to the Model 21, which is double single action. The sights themselves have a small blade at the front, and then they have the rear sight is adjustable. You can drift it left to right. Now, as you can see, the sights are really low profile, and this is important to keep it from snagging. It does take a little bit of adjusting to get used to it, but you can still pick up that silhouette target pretty easily. Now the barrel lockup on the Beretta really gives good accuracy. When I first shot the gun, it took me just a little bit of getting used to to find the sights because they are very low on the frame. But once you get a feel for it, it's really easy to get on target. And the recoil is very pleasant. So this would make an excellent gun for a lady with little experience shooting or the elderly. And a lot of that has to do with not having to rack the slide. Many people have a lot of trouble racking a slide on a firearm. And because of that, this tip-up barrel feature is really attractive for those who have problems pulling back a slide. Okay, breaking down the Tomcat is pretty simple. Um, just make sure the magazine's out. Go ahead and release your tip-up barrel. And this, of course, will let you know that the gun isn't loaded. Bring the barrel all the way around. Now bring the hammer back into the rear position. And this is going to make it easier to manipulate the slide. Bring the slide back just a touch. And then lift up on the front of the slide and then just pull forward. And that releases your slide. Now your recoil spring is right here and here on the frame. And that corresponds with these two grooves right here in the slide. And that is your recoil system. The frame is a high strength aluminum alloy and I'm going to show you exactly where they're having problems with the cracked frame and it's right in this area right here. If you happen to have a Tomcat just check this area right here for any stress points. Reassembly is very easy as well. You have two little channels right here at the rear of your slide and you want to correspond them with these little places here on the frame. So go ahead and place it in and then you're going to want to make sure that the slide comes down on those recoil springs and then just push back. Close the barrel and you're done. The price on the Tomcat typically runs around the $400 range. Uh, they can be somewhat difficult to find because they are pretty popular. And of course the stainless steel model and also the Alley Cat will run over that. The Beretta Tomcat model 3032 and 32 ACP. A neat little concealed carry gun and a lot of fun at the range. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. This is my Tomcat, but just like the Beretta Tomcat, you don't want to piss him off. And then at the back, back, now it has a very smooth trigger pull. Now this is a single action, this is a double, this is a double action, single action.